and what's going on fontaine here vip soundlab.com just wanted to show you how you can stack and layer some drum sounds on the machine 2.0 software so for example here's the sounds remember at 1.8 you would right click here and you can set up your link and your master and your slave and all that good stuff so now when we got this new icon here for example if i'm tapping on the drum sounds from pad 9 a snare on pad 11 and maybe another snare on pad 7 okay so let's say if I wanted to link or stack pads 11 and 7 because I like the way those snares sound combined together what I'll do is I'll put them on the same link group okay so you tap on the the pads here with the software and you don't have to hit the sound sound off okay so now put master here and master here so when I tap on either pad 11 or pad 7 that's tapping on pad 11 if I tap on pad 7 it's still triggering off it's triggering both pads off at the same time so let's say if I wanted to have one pad trigger both pads whereas the other pad I wanted to leave alone so if I go back to pad 11 here let's say I make this one a slave notice how it's now by itself whereas this one here is triggering both pads because that one's a slave so to give you a better example let me put this as a master being that pad 7 sounds uh, not as acoustically loud as pad 11 I'll leave this one as the slave Okay, but they're in the same link group. So when I press pad 11, it's now controlling pad 7, you know. Whereas pad 7 is by itself. So let's say, for example, here's a kick. And you can see right here, if you're wondering why they sound so echoey, it's because I have them going to my, my drum bus up here which is I have an effect on that uh, that group. If you saw my last tutorial video, basically you can set up effect chains and that's why it sounds like that. Cause I turned this sound into an input and I added uh, some little plugins. All right, so you can watch the video on that if you wanna see how to get that effects chain uh, set up. Now the same is gonna apply when it comes to your kick drums. If you wanna stack your kick drums, you can do that. For example, here's pad nine. And let's say if I wanted to add maybe, or rather dirty it up. I think I have a, yeah, I do I have a little, a vinyl sound there. So let's say if I put this in link group two and this one in link group two. Now when I hit the kick, it's gonna have a little static in it. As you can see there. So let's say, for example, I went back to pad 15. I took this to link group none. And let's see if I find another kick. Now this kick here is uh, extremely loud. So let's turn this down a little bit. All right, so now let's say if I wanna stack this kick with that, which is something I normally would not do because I know acoustically they're not gonna blend well. But just for the sake of the, uh, the tutorial, I'm going to do it anyway, even though I normally wouldn't. So this is probably going to sound crazy like that, but it doesn't sound too bad, I guess. So just a fast little uh, tutorial just wanted to show you how you can stack some sounds and you know set up your um your link groups and have one set as your master and another pad as your slave because again there are some people who are new to machines so that's a little key point i wanted to point out because they might want to know how to get that set up now there also are um choke groups and there's also key groups for example this little static sound that we had going there 
let's use for example let's have this pad right here choke off pad 15 so let's say we'll put this in choke group one and we'll put this one in choke group one okay so now you see how that's cutting that pad off normally that's maybe like three seconds or so let me see one two three starts dying off for three but if i as soon as i hit this if i tap pad seven see how fast it's coming up okay so that's pretty much how you set up your choke groups as long as your sounds are in the same choke groups your pads will uh, choke other pads off so that's pretty much how that works and you also can set up your keynotes right 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 here you know if you want to type in a specific key you can do that there because a lot of times you want to have your songs in a certain key and this icon here is just if you want to hear your um, your sounds if you're tapping like that because if this icon's off it's just going to be basically you're scrolling through. And of course, you know, when you're on these pads, when you go to these little boxes here, when you right click, that's how you solo a sound. You know, and then if you right click again, it unsolos it. Because that works from the, mis the mixer view also. You know, if you're over here, you know, you can. Uh... Get that set up like so. As I'm right clicking. It solos this sound and mutes all the others. Or if I go like this, it'll mute it. So pretty much works the same on that screen, you know, as you know, it does on this screen. It's just a different view. In other words. Yeah, man. So that's pretty much it. It's your boy Fontaine, the VIP soundlab.com. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.